Hey, welcome back on this Tuesday morning. So today, tomorrow, Thursday, ideal conditions to continue to do some work uh, in your yard, doing a little bit of raking and kind of cleaning up that fall debris, but get it done sooner rather than later. Friday will be a wet one, 70% chance of some rain, and the grounds will definitely be wet. Saturday looks the same. So basically two days of wet conditions are headed your way. Now, as far as temperature, it's a little bit cool out there, but today we're looking at yet again temperatures being about 10 to 15 degrees above normal in some places. High temperatures for today, most areas inland will be in the 60s, mid to upper 60s along the Wisconsin state line, lower 60s so for some areas inland across the central and east, and then the shorelines of the Great Lakes will have temperatures ranging in the mid to upper 50s this afternoon. Our overnight low temperatures for most areas will generally drop down towards the lower 40s in areas inland, and then the shorelines of the Great Lakes will be a little little bit more milder for tonight through tomorrow morning. Highs for tomorrow for the most part pushing well above normal near the 70 degree mark across some of the western counties. Most areas inland and along the Wisconsin state line will generally be in the upper 60s and then we're looking at some low 60s for areas inland towards the east. Still a little bit cooler right along Lake Michigan. The highs there will be ranging in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. Here's what's happening. We do have a little bit of clouds kind of working through the area that moves on out. We have plenty of sunshine and dry conditions today. Our next area of interest is this area of low pressure bringing in a cold front to parts of Washington and Oregon. That area of low pressure will track east across southern Canada over the coming days. The cold front will move in on Friday. The thing about this cold front is it actually looks like it's going to stall right over us into Saturday. That means we're going to mainly have two rounds of of rain, potentially widespread Friday and on Saturday as well. It'll generally be moderate to heavy in some instances with some isolated thunder showers and then rainfall amounts anywhere from about an inch to about two inches, but some places could exceed two inches of rain over the span of those 48 hours. It looks like we'll still have some lingering light rain showers for early Sunday, but that quickly pretty much comes to an end by about midday as that system continues to move east and out of the area. This system will also bring in some cooler air, so throughout the weekend we'll have temperatures in the mid 50s to upper 50s then by next week on monday we'll have more seasonal temperatures